lovely bed here and now. All right, so not wasting any time. What you're gonna do is get on however you want. I like the plop method. All right, so we're on the bed, right? So it's nice, comfy. We love beds. Oh. We're not going to take a nap. What we are going to do is get up on our elbows. Then from here, we're going to get on onto our knees. And this is where you can choose. You can choose to stay here or you can get up and be on your hands. We're not leaving the knees. As you can see, hopefully from the camera, my hands are sinking in and this is not the ideal position because it can put a lot of pressure on the wrist, but for now, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna roll with it. And then we're gonna move to solid ground where it's gonna be a little bit better. Also go with your fists. If that's more comfortable, work on that wrist strength. So you don't want to be all loosey goosey, as you can see with my belly. What I want you to do is try to squeeze your butt and then as if you're sucking all the air out of your stomach, like so, breathing in. Now I barely got any better. So restarting from ground zero. That looks pretty nice. Elbows, knees. Feeling adventurous. Hands, this, squeeze your butt, and then breathe in, exhale, <sighs> tighten that tummy, and then from there, hold it for time. We're on the ground. So, similar position where your hands are at your sides, you get on your elbows, then you get onto your knees. And then from here, if you want to, I'm going with my fist. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes. And then exhale. So that no doming can occur. And I'm holding it for time. I'll make sure to link down below a guy that I think in, in a short sequence describes visible abs pretty well. Go down that rabbit hole later and does it in a fun way, I should add. Practice, practice, practice. Have fun with it. Share it with your friends. Tr make it into a fun competition to see who can hold it for the longest. If you got energy still left in the tank, I would recommend this video over here.